there everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am really excited today because I am guesting over at Heffy Doodle and I'm playing with their Super Dudes stamp set, which is just so adorable. I'm also going to be using this Super Word die today and I'm going to be making a round shaped card or a circle shaped card today. So let me show you how we're going to create that base first. So I'm taking a standard A2 size, that's four and a quarter by five and a half card base, and I'm going to pick a size for my circle card. Now I'm going with this size because I think that it fits the card base best, but if you wanted to make a larger or smaller card, you could absolutely do that. So to make the base, what I'm going to do is just line this up on the center there where the a crease is in the card or where the fold is and I'm going to make sure that I hang just a bit of that uh, or the top of that circle die off. This way it cuts out the entire circle except for that space and when you hang that space over the fold you'll get a folded card base. So you'll see here as I take it all apart that now I have a circle card base and it opens and closes just like a regular card base. This is really handy because it allows you to make lots of different shapes of card bases when you want to do something a little bit outside of the box. I'm taking that same size circle die and just cutting out my card front here and this will ensure that I get a full circle so that I don't have that top um, cut off. I'm going to be using some Distress Oxides today in Squeezed Lemonade picked raspberry, salty ocean, and faded jeans. I'm creating a galaxy. I haven't done a galaxy uh, ink blended card in a really long time, but I wanted to try it out with these uh, life-changing brushes because I just love them. They've changed my life <laughs> for sure. And I thought, oh, this must be so easy with them. So I wanted to give it a try. So I'm going in with my first color and that's going to be squeezed lemonade and then I'm blending the edges of that out a bit with my picked raspberry. I'm then going to go ahead and go in with that salty ocean color and just go all around the outer edge and then over those uh, pink or picked raspberry colors as well. But now I'm creating my actual sky. So the colorful parts are just going to be fun little blips of color, um, but the salty ocean and the faded jeans are going to be the actual sky or the dark galaxy. Now this wasn't dark enough for me, so I went in with some Hero Arts black dye ink and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this all out. Don't be afraid to do this because I know that it looks a little crazy at first, but don't give up. You want this to be dark, it's a galaxy, it's space, so you're going to have that really black, dark look to it and it's gonna scare you a little bit because it doesn't look great until you're done, <laughs> like totally done. Uh, so of course I was a little afraid but I had to keep going. I actually really like the way that it's coming along and I wanna make the stars and just all those fun little details that you get in a galaxy. So I'm taking my distress sprayer and just putting a little bit on my hand and then flicking it onto my card front or my blended galaxy piece. To make even more stars, I'm using white gouache. And if you're not familiar with what this is, it is a very highly pigmented acrylic base paint. And I'm just putting the tiniest bit in a paint pan here putting a little bit of water in it and then picking it up with a paintbrush and flicking it all over my galaxy piece. This will make sure that I get lots of white little flecks and specks of gouache and it will stay very, very white. If you do this with like a white watercolor or even a white acrylic uh, paint that's not gouache, it tends to fade a little bit. So I really love using gouache for uh, galaxy stars and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and use this super dude who is flying in because I think that he'll fit really well on the circular card. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I will be doing some Copic coloring. And the reason that I am using Memento is because it is a Copic safe ink or an alcohol marker safe ink, meaning that the alcohol in the markers won't make the ink run when I'm coloring it. 
I just go through this piece here really quickly. I don't show the entire piece or me coloring the entire piece because I tend to cover it with my hand a lot. I wasn't sure if I wanted to show it or not in the beginning and I guess I just didn't keep in mind that the camera was filming and that maybe I should show what I was doing every now and then. So I just wanted to show this part because I added the pleats in the uh, cape and I really love the way that looks. I just went with the natural uh, way that the cape was flowing and then I just brought those shadows up and in there just to make sure that I had those that look of wind going through the cape. If you're interested in the colors that I used the entire throughout the entire piece for Cop Copic markers that is linked in the description. I went ahead and used the super word die and cut it out twice from a white piece of cardstock. Now I'm going to go ahead and just put some glue on the bottom half of one of those pieces of cardstock or one of those word dies and I'm going to put the other word die right on top and now I have a bit of a more sturdy word die and it will pop up a little bit from my my card front. I'm using just a couple of words from an entire sentiment included in the stamp set, hope your day is as super as you are, but I'm just using those last two words, you are, and I'm going to emboss that in white onto my card front. I love just using tiny little pieces of sentiments like this because it allows me to customize my sentiments and it's a great tip for stretching your stamp sets even more. After I decide where I want to put everything, I realized that in that top right hand corner above the word super, I needed just a little bit of something. So I went ahead and used a shooting star stamp image that was included in the set as well. And I just went ahead and colored that and die cut that out. To adhere my card front to my card base, I am using double sided tape and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on there as centered as possible. I don't want any white showing around the edges and the main part of, or the main reason for me having a card front versus just doing this all right on the card base is so that it has a complete circle. If you remember, we went ahead and hung a little bit of the circle die off so that of off of the uh, folded edge so that we had a way to open and close the card base. So I just want to make sure that it's a complete circle and I'm, I'm able to do that with the card front attaching it to the card base. So here is the completed card. I really love how this turned out. Actually, the and life changing brushes were amazing as I thought that they would be for this technique. I hope that you learned a few things about how you can do some ink blended galaxies as well. Please go ahead and head to the description for all of the supplies and products used today. Everything is linked down there as well as the link to my guest post over on the Heffy Doodle blog. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.